Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like, which will help me to make more free content. Thank you for your support. Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create circular infographic slide in PowerPoint. This is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the message from the CEO or from the top management. And then it will show you each individual messages with icons. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, select a hollow circle, draw the circle and make the height and width as 5 inches and if you want you can reduce the size or the width and align center and align middle then right mouse click go to format background change the background color of the slide and the hollow circle as well I'm going to use this color and remove the outlines I have downloaded few icons from the internet. You can go to the nonproject.com and download the icons. Copy the icons one by one. And this is the last icon. Make sure it aligns properly. Select all the icons and give the shadow effect. You can increase the distance. I'm just going to increase the width of the circle then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape again in the center of the slide make it no outline and give a different color and make sure to align it properly at the center of the slide and go to format shape and give the shadow for this circle also and in below or in the center of the oval shape add one more icon so I'm going to add the icon of kind of a sill out for this then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle something like this this much size make it no outline and give a different color add one more rectangle this is where we are going to enter the type the message and again give the same color no outline 
and go to insert shapes and select a trapezoid draw the trapezoid reduce the size and rotate it rotate left 90 degrees and give some dark color and align it properly then go to insert insert the text you can type the message say message from CEO and use any good font I'm going to use Oswald for this and bring it here align it properly control Z and type the title here or the headline whatever you want to do it and below insert the detailed description I'm going to say equals LOREM within brackets 1 it will give me some Latin text and then you can replace your text later on and once after this I'm just going to give a detailed text for each icons in this case I'm going to use a elbow arrow draw the elbow arrow for each icons one by one make it a white line and insert the text one by one then copy the elbow arrow align it properly with each icon and then copy and paste the text you have to do this for all the icons one by one So I have added all the text now. Now it's time to do the animation. Go to animation, enable the animation pane, select the hollow circle and use the zoom effect. Then select the inner circle and go to more entrance effect and select a basic zoom and say from out effect options and make it after previous then I'm just going to use this icon and I'm for this also I'm going to make a zoom effect and the animation start after previous then I have grouped the text and the shape for this I'm just going to use the wipe effect and wipe start from left and this also make it after previous and then each individual icons and I'm going to do the animation so first select the icon then use the animation 
which is again zoom make it after previous and for this use a wipe for the arrow and for the text make it wipe effect and both of these make it after previous then using the animation painter I'm going to do one by one the same animation first I'll select the icon then I'll do the animation for the arrow then third I'll do for the text repeat the same thing for all the icons arrows and text using the animation painter animation painter will help you to make your animations faster Now all the animations has been added. So if you play here, so first the circle comes, the inner circles, then the text after that one by one, each icons along with arrow and text will appear. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.